Hi everybody, Hondo the Honda Mackinnon here, and as you can see, this is Quake. Alright, so, uh, I used a little clip of this when I just recently did my, uh, uh, top 10 90s PC games, and this is a let's play that I've been actually, uh, planning on doing for a good while. Um, but, uh, huh. Whoa, okay, I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. I guess there are more enemies when it's uh, not the easy. There's that doggy. Alright, so uh, I talk about like old school Let's Plays. I mean, old school FPS games. And, you know, I'm not, I myself am not a huge fan of uh, modern FPS games. And, you know. And. Quake, uh, you know, I like old school FPS games, but I'm actually, I'm not actually, like, super familiar with Quake either. Uh, I'm sure I've played the, uh, the, 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 uh, you know, the, the, uh, shareware version back in the day, because I think it came on one of the millions of CDs that we had, uh, growing up. Uh, I wonder what this thing is. All right. And, you know, you know, Quake, Quake was, of course, a big deal back in the day. Uh, but I think what a lot of people don't actually know about this is that this game was uh, a sort of a, a little bit of a disappointment. Or, uh, well, let's, let's say this, this game actually kind of broke its software back in the day. Uh, it did not have the, the best, you know, it did not have the most fun production history. It, in fact, it had a pretty, it had the opposite, it had a pretty, pretty troubled production history. Uh, and as a result of it, uh, you know, John Romero then ended up leaving it software directly because of it. And you know, I, I played through. This is like the hit software shooter that I'm honestly the least familiar with, and I've never even. I've maybe played like a demo of Quake 2. I've never even like. Uh, I never played like an even like the uh, full version of uh of it. There's the chainsaw guys. So the uh, I think they're called ogres or something. Yeah. So Doom I'm fairly familiar with, like, I've, I've played a f my fair share of Doom back in the day, and I've played through, I want to say I've played through actually the entirety of Wolfenstein 3D back in the, uh, well not back in the day, but, uh, back in the day we only probably played the shareware version of it, uh, such as was the case, because the shareware version was basically like the first, uh, initially the first third of the game, uh, but then they, it was like customary for them to always like release, you know, three bonus chapters essentially at some point. So, uh, or, you know, the original game was usually just the three chapters. Three chapters, but what would inevitably happen is that they would kind of release like three bonus chapters. And with Wolfenstein, it was even like extra even more interesting because there were... Man, there's a lot of unpleasant noises around. So, and, you know, with Wolfenstein it's even more interesting because the chapters 4, 5, and 6 are actually supposed to take place... Ooh! What was that? Oh. They've got, there's guys in the shadows. Alright. So, and in Wolfenstein 3D... Oh shit! Also, I'm really hoping you guys can hear me because I, I was doing some test recordings and, and I had a bit of an issue uh, trying to get the volume. It's still pretty loud in my headphones right now, uh, but I hope you guys can act at least like make out what I'm saying. Uh, so the the first uh, episodes four, five, six is of Wolfenstein 3D are actually are actually. Oh yeah, here's the short guys. Oh god. Like mummies or something. Ugh, 
meaty. So yeah, those are supposed to take place before uh, the uh, events of the main game. So they're pre actually prequel chapters in a way. And Wolfenstein is also like, actually, I've had a failed attempt of trying to. Uh, <laughs> I've had a failed attempt of trying to actually do a let's play of that game as well. There's the nail gun. I'm not a big fan of this sh shaking. But I do have to say I do like the fact of how smooth this game actually runs. I mean obviously it's not taking a huge toll. Oh! It's not obviously taking a huge toll on my like, you know, computer or anything, but I don't remember it being quite this Oh god. Two of them. But I will say, you know, John Romero's, what he said about this game is, and, you know, it, I guess you can kind of see it, is that this game technically is kind of just, you know, a 3D, you know, a full 3D shooter with, like, you know, doom weapons. So it's not... Oh, God. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Ah. I forgot about that guy. <sighs> that was scary. Oh. What, that's it? Oh, oh, here's the exit. All right. So, you know, the thing that he said, like, you know, what, about this game is that it was, it, you know, that it was a disappointment of a game because the whole production team was completely burned out by the time they finally got the game engine done. And I do have to say, like, this, you know, this thing, Doom has a very kind of dark look to it as well, but it has more like the, you know, the satanistic... Uh, you know, the, you know, the kind of infernal design. Oh, there's the zombies. Alright. Oh, here's the axe. Oh god! And I re <laughs> Jesus. Straight into my face, too. Ugh. Stuck there. Yeah, this game kind of looks a bit dull, to be honest. And, you know, they they were clearly kind of going for a bit of a horror theme with this, but it, it just it just does not look very exciting. So, you know, you know, I played a lot more like Duke Nukem 3D growing up as well because I actually uh, had it. Uh, a friend of mine installed it on my computer, and then I played it for quite quite a many years. And the thing I have to say about these old games, like, even though the graphics have not necessarily aged well, like, the... You do still... They still manage to, like, scare me. Like, I, I noticed that with Wolfenstein 3D, also, when I was playing through it a few years ago, uh, was, uh... Like, th these games do manage to put you at an unease. Yeah. Uh, a good place to, if you want to read about, like, you know, the whole issue with this game, and so, you know, it, it, is, is the, uh, the Mad Chat, Matt Barton's, like, you know, interview with John Romero is, like, really good. And I also thought, and I also like that, so there was one left. And the other thing about that review, that like interview was also kind of good because I, give, it, it talked, he talked a lot about like Daigatana and what went wrong with it. Uh, ooh, I wonder how, how you're supposed to get in there. I think there's going to be some Oh, yeah, there's... I was wondering if there, there was going to be some flying enemies. These things remind me of the, uh, the Sphinxes from, uh, 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 Ocarina of Time. A little bit. Oh, 
Well, uh, there was one more. I was wondering what that noise was. Okay. Are, are you done? You done? Jesus, that is frightening. That's, that's almost as freaky as the octobrains. Oh, God. Oh, I did not remember that. Okay. So, how do I get up there? I'm almost dead, by the way. I was wondering, like, does it just let me start from the beginning of the level, then? Because uh, there's no save game. I was a little worried about that. Poor zombies. Oh god. There's a lot of you guys. Oh. Okay, I guess that's just it. it like, when you die, you start from the beginning of the level. Yeah, it's, uh, that, this is always really funny to me about, like, Duke Nukem as well. Like, the best weapon is the... is your leg. Kicking with your leg. Yeah, the main thing I like about, about this game that is kind of... you know, that always, like, betrays the troubled production is the fact that they're... the plot... I mean, the game was supposed to have a much more, like, elaborate storyline. Uh, but uh, they ended up, just like with a lot of the other things, they, they just ended up having, you know, you know, leaving it out. And, uh, you know, there was a, a whole thing that was used to be, there was originally going to be like a weapon, uh, which was this big hammer, which caused earthquakes, which is where the title originally came from. Uh, that they also like there were there were lots of like ideas that they just never that they, that they just never did end up doing the game like that such was such was the nature with this so I've never really like well I played these parts but uh, I've never like played the whole game so my, I, I'm not using that as an excuse to say like you know if I if I play poorly but you know that is at least partly the reason if I if I play particularly poorly. All right, this is where I, this is where I bought it the last time. I think this might be the way. Zombies everywhere. Oh, it's up there. Up there. Dang it. Okay. They just love doing this thing where they where you where you think you're going to get squashed to death. Oh god, no, 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 another one of these. Uh. There's two of them. Okay. Like that is that is like. Oh God. Damn it. <laughs> All right, I, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this. Okay, I was about to say that this game is a bit like a bit starved for ideas, in my opinion. Like it doesn't like the. It doesn't like have a very strong, um, you know, storyline. Actually, I think that's what the thing is like with Quake 2 as well. You know, it's a sequel in name only in the sense that it's, you know, it has a whole sci-fi thing. Whereas, you know, this game was supposed to have more of like a Lovecraftian thing, sort of. Was oh, there a door there? Yeah, there's a. Oh, ow. I try not to kill that guy because it feels like I'm wasting ammo. But I'm getting kind of sick and tired of that shit. All right. So yeah, there's the ceiling coming down again. All right. When's it gonna open? When's it gonna open? 
Oh, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was supposed to shoot that. I will say also, it bothers me a lot that there is no background music. I think that's another reason why I've never had like a huge initiative to play this game again because, uh, you know, music is such a big part of part of games. And you know, Doom had really good music. I mean, in part because you know it's ripped off. You know, it was ripped off from existing like metal songs and stuff. But, you know, the point is it still had like an audio, like a good audio department. Oh. There, okay, there is a way to get up there. The uh, that might be the zombies just splashing away there. Oh, more zombies. Lovely. Alright, let me get, get the fuck out of here. Alright, I gotta be careful not to fall this time. <laughs> that was my problem last time. <laughs> There you did. Oops. Took a bit of damage there myself. Oh god. Gotta get, get that health power up first. Before I see what fresh hell is this. Oh, it's the end of the level. Okay, good. Phew. Okay. Took took my sweet time. Uh, so I don't know. I, I'll at least play through this first episode. Ooh. Jesus. I'll try to play through this first level episode at least and see how far I can get. Uh, I've been known to be. I've been known to not always do so hard with these FPS games. You know, do, doing. You know, doing a. Let's play an adventure game. The good thing is, like, the game's very slow paced, so. Uh, ah, it's a swim level. Okay, now I gotta remember how to how I did the controls. Okay, it just swims forward. Okay, that's 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 good, I guess. Ooh, new gun. Yeah, that I think that the the, the big problem with this, and this is the reason why I kind of like Duke Nukem 3D more, is that you know. It doesn't seem to be like a lot, a lot of pomp and circumstance. Stuff just kind of happens in this game. Ooh, God! Like, you know, if I get like a new weapon or something, you know, get moved along in the game. And I want to know, you know, I kind of want there to be a little bit of a, like a recognition that I'm making progress. Like, this game is a little, this game is a little too straightforward, I feel. It's, it feels very, like, bare. Damn, that thing is really... This, this this is something, like, weird about the motions of these characters. Like, it feels very, uh... No, they don't move smoothly. They move, like, very jaggedly, which is kind of weird. Also, there actually is, like, a quake for Nintendo 64. And... Oh, yeah, I think... Yeah. I think... I think that is just, like, a straight port of this. So it's it's literally just Quake, but for Nintendo 64. I got a key. I don't know where I'm supposed to take this. Take the key, though. Yeah. So yeah. So so you know, I do have to admit, like I definitely prefer Doom over this. Oh 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 oh! That's just to be outside. God. Okay. Is there something back here? Oh, this just take me here. Damn it. Yeah, the geography of this place just makes no sense to me. I got the key. Well, there was this whole big cave here, so... Oh, I... Ah, I mean, this is a whole big circle. Okay, so I'm supposed to go back here somewhere, I think. Is there a locked door? No, this is where I came from. Huh. Alright, I, I am legit lost now. <laughs> oh god, that is that is the worst feeling. Oh wait, that's a cave. Duh. Ooh, what Oh, I do not love that. Oh, oh, oh. 
Wow, they are really on me. How do those guys move so fast? I don't remember them moving that fast earlier. <laughs> Alright. And of course I backed into a fucking wall so he gets a cheap shot at me. Okay, got some armor, that's good. Yeah, so some other FPS games that actually I enjoy, and another one I've actually planned on making up, like doing a full, uh, you know, full Let's Play of at some point was uh, sequence completed. All right, man, it's really dark. Like I can't tell like half the time when the enemies around. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Like, they, they remind me of the first Resident Evil. Oh uh, yeah. I was honestly thinking of doing, like, a Let's Play of the second Resident Evil as well. Unfortunately, like, my PlayStation 2 isn't working anymore. Oh, whoa, whoa. Flying snake assholes, whatever the hell you are. Oh, God! Alright. I remember the boss of this was like a giant worm. Oh, oh great. Where oh god, there, there they come. Yes, uh, Metroid Prime 3 is actually another FPS game that I really like. And I've had, you know, it's actually in my... Uh, you know, I think I've said this before, and I'm record on stating at least I think that it, it's, I think it's the best game for the Wii. Bazooka! Okay, don't want to use that too much. Especially not in close quarters! Whoa! Okay. Damn it. Oh god! I made a mistake! Jesus Christ. Yeah, it, it is not, not easy to, like, keep your head cool with this game. Check this door. Is there something here? Or these guys? Come on, is there something? I really wish I had a cross there. Because I don't know half the time if I'm hitting them. <laughs> Precious health. Oh god! That's one down. Yeah, he's dead. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, is this a... No, this is not an elevator. Alright, but that's where I'm supposed to go eventually, so I guess I helped out a bit. That piece of meat honestly, like, scared me. I thought it was an enemy for a second. Yeah. It, it bites. It really bites that... That the... That my PlayStation 2 isn't working anymore. Yeah, that's the thing. There's a, yeah, there's traps up there. Oh, God damn it. Keep pushing me back to so that's even more like a fish. Die already. I don't think that's kind of cute how he kind of falls on his ass.
for this tricky dicky bullshit. <laughs> to use the wrong gun. God damn it, I hate you guys. Okay, he's dead. Good. Right. And I got my key. Oh, is there another key over here? What? Uh, it's another one of these assholes. these. Seriously, <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, there's a door. Get me up. Get me up. Oh, oh, back here. Oh. What you just. You enemies just. Peering out of nowhere. Fuck you. Oh, it was, you know, behind a hidden door. Well, that makes it. That makes it alright. Okay. Gotta get ready for this bullshit, whatever it is. That's the end of the level again. Good, good. Are you serious? Like two hits from this? Okay, so I need. What does that mean? Is it puzzle time? Because that would be outstanding. I like you, sir. Not one bit. Oh, okay. Your way has been lit. My way is lit. Great. Great, great. 
Um, so where does this take me? Back here. You need the gold room kit. Oh, okay. Uh, so I need to get over there somehow. Alright, what have I forgotten? Um, I mean, I fell here. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to go there. Huh. Or maybe I am. Maybe. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, no. Oh, God. Jesus, that is scary. Okay, how, how exactly am I supposed to get over there? Now they got very tricky with this. Can I do the rocket jump? Oh god. Oh, I didn't notice that I have more than 100 health. Alright, here we go again. No, how, how do I do that? Is it literally that I have to... Okay, I gotta... I gotta now... Damn it. I managed to do it once. I gotta, learn, gotta figure it out how, to, how, to, how I did that. Damn it. <laughs> By getting that other one isn't hard. It's this one that's giving me a lot of trouble. Now I gotta get back somehow. God damn it. Okay. Okay, I guess I have just have, gotta have enough health for that. Alright guys, sorry about this. We, we've reached that part of the Let's Play where I'm, over, where I'm overwhelmed. Alright. Jesus. All right. Managed to get through the door at least. All right, he's dead. Please let that be it. Oh god. Oh, another one of these. Oh god, okay, that was it. <laughs> oh, okay, this is it. I knew it, yeah. Oh, it, it wasn't like a worm, it's like a big, just a big dude, so. Uh, so I don't think I can, like, hurt it. I, all I can do is that there's, like, buttons or something I need to go press. This and... This and oh yeah, okay. I guess I all all I do is this then. <laughs> and you just avoid the and I don't know how many times, three times. I'm surprised there are no enemies. Oh! It was that easy, huh? Okay, and then the bridge appeared. Yeah, you're not gonna take me down? Okay, I guess, and then... Here we go! Ouch. Big bloody mess there. <laughs> and, as the cor corpse of the monstrous entity... Thun sinks back into the lava whence it rose. You grip the rune of earth magic tightly. Now that you have conquered the dimension of the doomed realm of earth magic, you are ready to complete your task. A rune of magic. 
power lies at the end of each haunted land of Quake. Go forth. Seek the totality of the four runes. And I guess this is where uh, where, where we then end it. So uh, thank you for watching. I've been Hunter the Hunter Mackinan, and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.